Hello, hello, everybody. I still don't know exactly when it starts streaming and starts going live, if it's spinning or if it's already live after it has already spun uh, or it actually tells me, now you're alive. So I'll figure that out, right? Perfect for today's stream of conversations, topics, right? title of Get Your Shit Together with myself, Yana Kasperzak, which is the weekly live guidance session. I also want to um, thank you guys all for your patience, because I know some of you have been missing these videos, because <laughs> we all need a little reminder, a little slap in the tissues, or back of our head, whatever kind of slows our boat, to get back on track. And do what we know we actually want to do, which is the very thing that we sometimes feel like we need to do. And this is why it's important to start to put a little bit more effort into ourselves each and every day. Just a little bit more. So, as I was saying, I want to thank everyone for your patience with my live videos with this topic with get your shit together conversations with uh, with me um not being as consistent as they're meant to be right they're meant to be at 11 30 every thursday but because we started throwing webinars in there you just completely kind of throw things out of whack um in my thursday so as a human being, I too am getting my shit together in some areas of my life and trying to figure things out and remember that these two things I'm going to share with you, that the two things that are preventing you, that are preventing me from getting, from finally getting my shit together, from finally living the life that I actually want to live, the life that I dream and desire and feel that is meant to be mine whereas not to say that the one i'm currently living is not is is to say that there are certain parts of it that still don't feel like they fit in in the way that they currently are so figuring things out simple example that i already mentioned webinar right that's something new in my life i'm trying to figure out how to fit that in and it's gonna take time right decided that you want to re remodel your home or restructure things or um, take on a new project it's going to take you time to figure things out and the two things that are preventing you from getting your shit together in any area of your life are these two things and i'll say them together and i will go into the deeper understanding conversation of what that actually means and looks like one, you can't get past how you feel. And two, you can't get past how you think. It's usually one or the other. It's either you are in your body and you're feeling, or you're in your head and you're thinking. And often, they also two come together. And the reason why I say they come together is because even though you're feeling something in your body and you're not aware of the dialogue, so you're not really thinking, you're just feeling, what has actually happened is that you have thought something enough times for it to be, and when you think something that triggers your emotions and your feelings, and you do that enough times, it becomes part of your program. So if you have thought a certain thought, or even when you heard a certain phrase over and over and over again by, you know, from someone or from yourself, it becomes yours. And you don't even recognize that. It's almost like uh, there was a, another phrase is that I, I can't remember how it goes. I'm not going to butcher. I'm not going to attempt it, but I'm just going to say the, the main part of the, the whole like, kind of like phrase in the story is that when we have listened to our masters enough times that we no longer hear the words of our masters because the words of our masters have become our words because we are speaking the words of our masters. So the same goes for 
you surround yourself with people who are negative, who are petty, they're going to be your masters. And you're going to speak the voice of your masters. You're going to become that same voice. And you actually don't have to spend too much time in spaces or places like that with people like that or energies like that for you to become that way, for you to start, you know, start with a thinking where you're thinking, thinking, thinking a certain thought and you think it enough, there's then there's feelings that are, are connected to it and then you experience it enough, it becomes emotion and emotion is your memory of the experience. The emotion is the end result of the experience. So then you become that emotion, becomes how you feel, becomes a feeling, it becomes an emotion in your body. So therefore, you can't feel greater than you already feel, you can't think greater than you already think, and you also can't think greater than you feel, and you can't feel greater than you think. Everything is connected, because you... We all become a set of ha habits, a set of traits, personal personalities, which is also patterns, whether we meant to or not, whether we were conscious for that programming or not. And most of us were not conscious of the programming until now. We're like, what the hell is happening? I have a lot of work to do coming from a place of have to, right? That's why I have a lot of work to do because there's just so much and there's just one of me and it feels like a lot. But that's okay as well. That's a, that's a different conversation because here we're talking about you trying to get past, you know, tr you trying to feel greater than you feel and then you think, which means you reconditioning your body to a whole new set of programming but in order for that to happen you got to start with the roots the roots of who you are the roots of what makes you you and most people don't know who they are especially if they find themselves in the place of feeling lost confused disoriented overwhelmed frustrated just anxious perhaps even depressed and just a lot of things are happening and there's just not enoughness seeping through every single part of their life and their existence. Meaning that there's never enough time. There's never enough, um, you know, there's never enough that you can do, that you can have, that you can achieve. There's never enough even love maybe that you can give or you can receive that you just find yourself feeling that there's just not enoughness seeping through and then once in a while what's wrong Ethan? oh okay you you gotta come over here sweetie okay no i gotta i can't pause okay i'm gonna have to um give me a minute okay ethan uh or a couple of minutes i'm just gonna wrap this up um curiosity is an important part of the journey and I want you guys all to stay curious if you're curious just reach out to me we can have more of a conversation where I can help you to go in deeper um, but I'm just going to take a peek of what I wrote down here everything basically starts with you think it's how you think and then how you feel and then it becomes the program is that you're just starting to feel something your emotion takes over and you're not aware of what you're thinking you're just feeling because you just been running the program and you're not aware of what the program is because the program is you know you think you feel and then now the thinking is now become just your existence your being and you seem to feel stuck there um, now great news is that only it, from that point on it can only get better and it always does get better as long as you continue to fight for yourself and fight for essentially fight for yourself really for what you believe for who you are for what you want for what you don't want and starting with understanding who you are which will lead to why you are here what is 
what is the meaning, what is the purpose of all this, you know, the, all the other deep, deep, deep questions that you have been asking that have been causing you to feel even deeper levels of your existence um, in a profound way. Anyways, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody for listening, for tuning in. And I always love to hear what was your biggest takeaway from today's that you should together with Moa, Yana Kasperzak, <laughs> your spiritual awakening core energy coach, helping you to grow through the dark parts of spiritual awakening as you know, we're getting our shit together. Other than that, I shall see you all next time. If you enjoy the, these videos, keep an eye out. They'll be here on Thursday at random times, like I said, as I'm figuring things out, as you are. And feel free to invite anyone who you believe would enjoy being part of this community and everything that we bring uh, to this group. Otherwise, until next time. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being part of today.